All right. I don't know if you hear me clearly, but it's my usual customary uh, ribeye and pork belly. Uh, let's see. Any, can you guys hear me okay? Because I've got the fan on for a few minutes while I'm, I'm doing a quick, a quick cook on the on the carnivore side. The IVF nurse, hey, from Australia, how you doing? carnivore how you doing, foodie? Uh, made alive, I'm so stoked. Thank you so much. We, you guys, we're all sort of sharing together. Here I am in upstate New York. Uh, I did uh, a, a really great with Sophia, Sophie Ruan who did the A to Z on detoxing. Really excited. Lots of love from uh, Brisbane, Australia. Thanks, Cornish. How are you doing today? Nicole, how are you doing, Nicole? Sam, Samara. So look at, I've got my, I've got my, my butter boy, butter boy French butter for Lisa tomorrow and uh, kilts comes. I'm not sure which one I'm going to bring. I'm going to bring a few for her. And uh, what, let's see, uh, what am I cooking? Can you guys guess? I'm smoking up the place. Uh, it's my ribeye. It's my ribeye and some uh, pork belly. And I put it under the broiler. Uh, it's really hot under there. Uh, let's see, uh, let's see, lots of love from Washington. Awesome. Put it Hoodie, uh, let's see, Patty, good morning, Carnivore Rosie, how are you doing? Steak, steak, what else am I having, right? Uh, Angie, steak, what's Kilt's having? Steak, what's Kilt's having tomorrow? Steak, the next day, steak, that's all he has, is steak. Let's see, uh, Yusuf, good morning, good afternoon, Carnivore Rosie, it's so good. But I'm giving it a moment, and I'm going to melt a little bit of uh, blue cheese, just a little bit, not a lot. <laughs> I'm working on a cup for Lisa. What do you think? I'm going to get her a couple of cups. I think so. Water do you drink in a day? I don't drink a lot of water. Uh, this is my favorite water. And I probably have maybe half in the day, maybe three quarters. Shared my ribeye with butter tonight. Awesome. Like, I mean, come on. Isn't this the very best? Uh, let's see. I've got to be careful because I'm smoking up the kitchen. I'll give you guys a little bit of a of a look. You probably can see the smoke coming up. I mean, isn't that look like the very best? And I've got some pork belly I'm throwing in here. And I saved the grease. It's the best. Uh, just be Kimmy. How you doing in Canada? Whole family is now drinking. Uh, Carol Stein, listen, this is the best. Now, listen, you probably want to get a little uh, minerals uh, at home. Get yourself your own uh, uh, water. And you can go through, uh, I think it's a Burpee uh, water uh, purifier with with, uh, with uh, charcoal. can be good. And then, and then a little carbon... Uh, carbonated yourself, right? Hey, just be Kimmy. How you doing? I don't want to burn it. Uh, I can make a mess. Hey, Megan, how are you doing? Steak. Listen, don't tell everyone that you're doing the baby's way because everyone's going to want to do it. I love Topo Chico also, by the way, Holly. I get it all the time, but I, gotta, I didn't see it at Wegmans. Topo Chico or what's the other one? Mineral Guagua. I'll have to try that. Get more calories to build muscle. Uh, have you had Kiltz's ice cream? Uh, but you know, getting more muscles, you gotta you gotta pump more and get a little more protein in. Add more egg yolks to Kiltz's ice cream. All right, it's almost done. I'm not making ice cream tonight. All right. Should I make some ice cream tonight? I don't know. But add more yolks uh, to the cream when you make your ice cream. That's it. I mean, Mexico can no longer get Topo Chico. Really? Wow. Uh, cardio. I haven't done. I didn't get on my bike today. And I didn't get in my weight room today. But at the office, I was lifting some of my. Why do they call them dumbbells, right? Let's see. Let's see what this thing is going to look like, right? 
and I got to get the bacon out. But what I need to do is add a little bit of butter. And like, I love eating butter like cheese. Isn't it great? Yes, correct. Should I make some? Frenchie, uh, share with estrogen and progesterone should be for transfer. There's a huge variety of estrogen progesterone levels. Typically, I like to see the estrogen, uh, let's see, uh, ooh, progesterone uh, above 20 and estrogen often above 100, but I see lower estrogens also. So, you know, it's, it really is it's such a variety. But typically, if the progesterone's under 20, we add something. And and um, if it's a natural cycle, let's all, it's going to be even lower. Um, I love, I love, you know, this isn't my favorite organic. Although organic deli is good, I really love Pittsburgh Farm. That's the very, very, very best. Hey, sweetie. All right. Whoa, 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 whoa. Uh, Nofsky or Kristen, how you doing? Roadrunner, uh, yum is right. So, all right, let's cut this open. All right, what do you think? You think it looks, you think it looks good? And I like to slice it, and I like mine black and blue. That's the very, 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 very best. Jeanette, how you doing? Uh, thank you. Let's see. Oh, J uh, Jana, congratulations. Is 28 CG too low for his beta? Not great if you're on if you're on boosters, by the way. And this is a QA session forever. You want to talk about keto, carnivore, or reproduction, right? All right. I gotta turn the I gotta turn the butter down and the cheese down. And I think I need to add a little bit more butter. Everything's better with butter, isn't it? everything right some people want to just put butter on their steak i like a little bit uh uh not a booster that may be good sock how you doing zach that and for everyone look at we're we're a tribe together we're a community we're co-leading together uh not covid but oh yeah i stay away from the covid stuff and I refuse to test for COVID. And let me tell you, on this, on the baby's way, I've never felt better. Knock on wood. Store bought, uh, let's see, uh, would rather have raw when get my paws on it. Uh, let's see. I live right near Pittsford Farms. Awesome, Stacy. I love it. It's my favorite. Uh, but I got, I recently got Trinity Farms was at Wegmans, uh, which was really good also because there's no, there's no, uh, what do they put in this gum, disodium phosphate, gel and gum, not my favorite, but that's, that's, that's all they had. Right. Uh, so let's see most bacon and even sausage is sugar. This is, uh, this is pork belly. It's not cured. So you got to make sure you're getting it. So you got to check, but you're right. You got to stay away from the any of the bacon that has been. Can you hear me better now? Right. Uh, let's see here. Yeah, I see again bacon. I don't. I do mostly my ribeye steak every day uh, from Snake River Farms. It's the very, 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 very best. And mm, fatty bacon, bacon, it's pork belly. Is carnivore and having ketones in the body healthy for baby development? Absolutely. This is the most amazing thing I've ever learned in life. Being keto carnivore, kick ass, amazing. As a reproductive endocrinologist, this is the very, 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 very best. All right. I think I'm throwing food. I might be. Uh, but these ideas are radical, aren't they? Shall I deliver some to your house? Hmm. Zero sugar stuff. Listen, 
I don't think there's that much sugar in the meat. I think it's okay to enjoy from time to time. But most of the time, mm -mm. but maybe talk to your butcher about finding some, some pork belly and that is, that is less expensive. Look around. It's out there somewhere, right? Now I do molded salt. I know a lot of people do. They do uh, Redmond salt. Uh, I, haven't, I haven't used it much. Uh, let's see. A good steak, Jana. Shall I bring it by? Right? And thank you for joining me for a, a quick cookout and a quick dinner, answering a few questions. I'm going down to the meetup tomorrow with Lisa Wiedemann for dinner tomorrow night at her place. And then Saturday, uh, 12 to 4, there's a meetup. And I think you can go online and find out. I don't know if it's all sold out or not, but really excited about meeting so many of you that are going to be there. Uh, it's amazing. Uh, let's see. Well, Dink, you love bacon. Carnivores, carnivores the best when you're pregnant. It's the best after pregnancy, after you delivered your beautiful, healthy baby. And then it's the very best for your baby after your baby's done breastfeeding, by the way. Mm. This pork belly is from Porter Road. I love Porter Road. They have really great stuff. Again, wherever you get your stuff, you know, you want to make sure and know, know that you're getting really good quality. Uh, but I don't personally think it matters if it's, let's, uh, I was talking to uh, Port, uh, uh, Corey about, uh, mm, beef, cattle, no hormones, no antibiotics. They can't. Milk cows don't do. And whether they're grass fed, grain fed, they're eating plants. That's probably all that matters. I don't think that other stuff matters so much. You want to buy inexpensive, you could buy really good inexpensive food out there. Uh, eat beef with a milk allergy. Uh, oh, yes, absolutely. That's, listen, bacon, eggs, butter, beef, salt, no cream. Don't use the cream there, no ice cream. And, uh, Eliminate the butter for some people. They can't. They can't tolerate it because of uh, uh, the the butter they're getting has too much milk, sugar. So check that out. Be very careful about that. Thank you very much, Muddy Waters. I really appreciate you. I enjoy this. Listen, I'm blessed. My partner Tia takes really great care of me. She always makes sure I have steak, eggs, butter, cream. I'm a workaholic. I don't work a day in my life. I love what I do every day. Congratulations to Dr. Barry out there, Nisha, Bonnie. And uh, my bet is Nisha is carnivore or nearly so. And that baby is going to be so amazingly healthy. Maybe this is the, the first baby, right? Well, we know it's not. These ideas that I've learned are so opposite, so crazy, that most people say, oh, come on, this isn't true. Well, my bet is game changer. Sherlyn told me recently I need to stay away from red meat and eat fish. Fish is deadly. Vegetables are deadly. I was only eating meat right up through my pregnancy. This wrong, and the boys came 35 weeks, and they're almost seven pounds. Look at, you had twins. Twins come early, no matter what. But the diets that the doctors are telling us are deadly. And unfortunately, someone is manipulating them, which is causing us to be sick, get diseases. And then ultimately, we more need more drugs and dissections. The cycle is deadly. Thank you for allowing me to eat and talk. I appreciate it. Today is day 14, no coffee. Uh, and I'm doing it because I want to sacrifice for so many of my community that's sacrificing. I need to give something up. I put butter in my coffee, cream and tea if I have it. And uh, maybe I'll go back to decaf coffee. I don't know. I love the rituals we have in humanity. But um, heroin, cocaine, marijuana, 
or, or alcohol of any significance or frequency is not good for us. All right. This is a piece of the fat from the steak. It is critical to eat. It protects the glycobiome. The glycobiome is the most important, important part of our body. The sugar coating on our body is critical to protect, but we're not protecting it. We're damaging it, right? We're damaging it because we're eating plants. Not good. Sharon, awesome. Uh, okay, the cold turkey, stop Lovenox. Yeah, it is. I love frog wah, duck, duck liver. Amazing. Try it out. Mm. I think I'm going to go comatose after this. I go to bed early. I get up early. I'm going to get in my motion studio at 3 a.m., do my bike, do my weights, get to the office, do my live. I'm going to do some work in the morning. I'm going to get down to see my daughter, Pilar, at about noon tomorrow. Excited about that. And then I'm going to drive down to uh, Jersey to Lisa Wiedemann's place and have a beautiful, beautiful dinner and connect with so many great people. Organ meat supplements to add to your diet. So for those that don't want to take or eat organ meats, Nutritional Solutions, Dr. Kilt's Nutritional Solutions has a liver and organ meat supplement. I think they're great for so many people that don't want to buy liver or eat liver or the heart or the kidneys or the brains for that size. So uh, try the supplements. I think they're helpful. Uh, but like anything else, they, they let's say they may be helpful. Uh, no one knows about supplements or any of these things, but food, you know what you need to eat. Fatty meat. That's it. MTFR gene. Do you think carnivore? Oh, absolutely. Plants contain phytohemagglutinins. Those are plant particles that cause blood clots. So my belief is that if you carry the MTHFR gene uh, mutation, you're at a higher risk of the plant antigens causing blood clots. So absolutely, I think uh, carnivore, let's see, Judy Cho wrote a great book, Carnivore Cures. I wrote a book before that, Keto Cures. Uh, but you can't write cure and you can't talk about mercury and all this other stuff online because she got nixed from, I think, Instagram for a little bit. But we want Judy back. Judy Cho is a home run. I'm going to bring her back into a conversation. The, the boys were really great. They survived well. Uh, Carnivore really helped me through this pregnancy. Thank you. It's my pleasure. Carnivore, 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 carnivore. What's the number one thing I want to make sure I wish that everyone knew uh, right before they're born in utero? We're lions. We're not pigs, cows, and sheep. Mm. Mm. If someone has never had a problem getting pregnant before, you recommend using trigger shot or natural ovulation tracking. You can do natural ovulation tracking, but I tend not to. Listen, if you can do natural stuff, but now the tracking, everyone's tracking, right? So you got to be careful on tracking, I guess. Uh, but absolutely, uh, you can try tracking if it's going to help time your sex uh, in time for attempting pregnancy. I think they could be very helpful. I so apologize. You have to watch me eat. Linda. Mm. I don't think avocado is good for us or olives significantly. A little bit muddy water from time to time. Now, some people are more allergic to avocados than others, but I think a little bit's okay. I enjoy an avocado, but not too frequent. I do love my olives also. Hmm. Blue cheese stuffed olives. Uh, that's what I love. But I think, again, for uh, some avocado is okay, but mostly fatty meat, bacon, eggs, butter, beef, salt. That's it, right? It is so simple. Uh, the baby's way, if you look at Kiltz's baby's way, it's, it's rocking amazing. Oh, man. A green olive occasionally. 
Bucci is stuffed in a martini occasionally, right? Uh, cho, let's see. Chris D, how you doing? Thanks for loving my glasses. I went from the black ones. I've been thinking about getting contacts, but I'm afraid I'm still going to need to put on the readers. So, or getting the laser. I think I'm going to protect my stuff, Suze. Uh, let's see. North Kristen, awesome. 44 chemical in June after first transfer, Lisa Palmer. Second transfer, three day in Buffalo yesterday, praying. All praying every day. Carnivore, 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 Lisa. It's critical, critical. Uh, thanks to Frenchie for having dinner with me. Uh, may, again, I, I'm working on the meetup Sunday at, what did I say? I think I said 7 p.m. Eastern time, and we'll go before that uh, so that our West Coast people can uh, get on and maybe just a half an hour meetup. I didn't want to wait a month for another meetup. I need you. Heather Kirkpatrick, I started a keto carnivore four and a half months ago. I'm down 35 pounds, two whole pant sizes. Great. My husband is down 55. Listen, I, 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 I've been, I'm down also because I've been really a little bit more strict. Plus, I've been getting in doing my this. You know, if you're, if you're going to, you can do this type of stuff, sit and stand in the kitchen. Don't forget to do this a little bit more. Motion is motivating. You got to move. Whether you're going to do in the dumbbells or whatever you want to do, you got to move. I don't like the word exercise. Maybe you guys will figure something out and give me another name for it, right? But I think stay, Heather, stay the baby's way, keto, carnivore, one meal a day forever. Game changer. Third transfer in the fall. Protocol you said in plantation. Look at implantation level three and four in the family building guide, Jamie. And everyone, what should Jamie eat every day? Steak and eggs, right? Steak and eggs, easy. Uh, let's see. Obsessed with our miracle baby. We should be. I'm obsessed with my miracle child, Pilar. I don't see her very often. She doesn't call me enough. Uh, she loves me. I love her. She's amazing. She now works for me part-time. I'm very blessed every single day. Nice to have dinner. Again, we're all having dinner together, right? Isn't this amazing? It's dinner time. Maybe next time I'll, I'll ship out some steaks. We'll cook them together and, uh, and we'll have a great, great, great meal. And then maybe we can all do some ice cream, right? I think pork is okay. I love pork chops. Pork belly, pork ribs. Mm. All right. I think I'm out of vanilla, but I do have the cream and eggs right here. I'm going to give maybe a couple of more bites and then I'll put this aside. And, uh, and it's amazing when the more fat I eat, the less I need to eat. That's crazy. I typically, Linda, eat one meal a day at night. I'll give you, I don't know if you guys are going to be able to see this, but see, I'm looking out, although it's bright, the lake is out there. I'm blessed to live on Skinny Atlas Lake. And uh, so I'm standing in the kitchen, looking out on the lake. I moved here 27 years ago from California and just to live on the lake. At the time, it was like dirt cheap compared to what it is today. I'm very, 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 very blessed. You can you can make ice cream without the ice cream maker. You, all right, shall I try it? Uh, let's see. Go to carnivore. Uh, uh, mm. Let's see. Carnivore Revolution. Jess and Serena. And they make it that way. All right, becoming carnivore-ish. Carnivore, car, uh, Cavallari. Hi. I've been having wrist pain after becoming carnivore-ish. Mm, mm -mm. No fruit. No fruit. Get rid of it. Fruit's deadly. See, it just takes a little bit of those little nasty things that go all over our body and cause it, right? Double bag method. Thank you, Nicole. Right? Uh, you put ice in one bag with uh, some salt and then the other bag and then you put it in there and you mix it around. Shall we try it? 
I guess I could. And all right, one more. Mm. I'm comatose. Hmm? Comatose. Picos, Gloria, I picos alopecia. Vitamin D3 should I take? How much? Listen, you got to eat the fatty meat, the liver. It's critical. Fresh liver is the best. Fatty meat has all the vitamin D. And plus, you got to eat the butter. Butter is better. The problem is picos is caused by a low animal fat, a uh, high carbohydrate diet. It's deadly. So, mm, All right. Shall we try this? Uh oh. All right. I'm gonna do this. I've got a. I've got a. Hang on one second. All right. Voila! It starts simple, right? Starts simple. Put sweetener, I would say no, but sweetener every once. I, I do a little bit of white sugar, cane sugar, because like I don't eat it any other time. And see, protein and sugar both go to the liver and they're converted to fat. And so I say a little bit is okay, but just a little bit. Let's see here. Let's see. Let's do two eggs and uh, oh boy. Let's see if I can get this done right. Okay, there's one. And it, it plopped down and got... I haven't done this much with the... All right, what do you think? Right? Not bad. I used to watch Julia Child all the time. She was my favorite. She still is. I watch her stuff all the time. All right. And if you haven't watched the the, the uh, show on... on uh, I think it's HBO... And all Julia makes is an omelet. It's as simple as that, right? Uterine lining for FET transfer. Over seven, triple lining. Uh, let's see. You guys are answering questions. I really appreciate that. Double bag with ice, right? Improve uh, or boost egg quality. Come on. You got to eat eggs to make better eggs. Get rid of all plants, all fry, fiber, fruits, cereal, rice, pasta, bread, yogurt. Deadly. Deadly. Right? Should we add one more yolk? Should we just do a yolk in this next one? Let's see. Ooh. Let's see if you can get all the way over here. And uh, ooh. let's see if I can do this. I used to be a crazy cook. I used to make Italian, Mexican, uh, all, all, all the time, right? One more, one more egg yolk. So we're going to put three egg yolks in this. And uh, and let me see if I have a little bit of vanilla. I just need a little bit. Oh, my God. I got it. A little bit of vanilla. Not a lot. And, uh, okay. Ooh. Maybe two teaspoons. I usually like... To scrape the bean, but I'm out of beans. All right. Uh, let's see. John told should to only eat three eggs a day. I'm seeing so many people in the carnivore community. Six to eight. I never said only three. I don't think there's a... No. Nah, I think Baker has 12 a day. And Chafee has a lot also. Uh, and Bella... I don't know how many Bella's doing. All right. I'm sorry. I'm going to have to eat this tonight. Oh, I wasn't going to. See what you did to me? I wasn't going to do this tonight. I don't know. Should I double bag it or put it in the machine? Uh, let's see. I'm making Kiltz's ice cream. All right. I put in, I put in three yolks, two whites, uh, a pint of cream, uh, two tablespoons of a little bit of uh, the vanilla, uh, extract, but I preferred the bean. I didn't have any, right? Uh, double bag. Shall we do it? Okay. 
Let's see if I can get the double bag. We'll see. Thank you for being patient with me. I've got to get the ice in the bag. We'll see. And then I think the next thing is, is salt. So I guess that'll keep it from melting too fast. How much salt? I don't know. You guys know? Uh, all right. Let's see. Serendipity, how you doing? Let's, I'm sorry I'm not getting all these offer. Continue education. I'm a farm D. Share this lifestyle hub. Uh, we're going to be doing it. We're also going to be doing some education both in the fertility world for embryology, for docs who want to learn fertility, for nurses, uh, all sorts of practitioners. Also on the, uh, on the uh, let's see, sugar in the mix. I, I didn't today, Kathy. Uh, I didn't today. I was, I was going to work it without. Should I put a teaspoon in? Just a little bit? Again, this is my one meal. This is it, right? Uh, Dr. Wilborn, how you doing? How are you doing? Roadrunner, a pint, one pint of cream. Usually it's one pint, one egg, but I thought I'd do a little extra eggs today. All right, let's see if I can do this. Okay, not in the same bag with the ice, right? <laughs> That's never happened to me, right? Let's see. Let's see how good this is going to work. And I might need some more. All right. All right, we're double bagging it, right? Uh, when I make it without, it's just not as good and just a little. Uh, what I like to do, I sometimes will sprinkle the sugar on top of the ice cream once it's already made, which is a little bit of a game changer, right? Let's see if I can do this. All right. Is this it? I don't know. We'll, we'll see how this is going to work. Maybe I need a few more, a little bit more ice. Uh, all right, a little bit more. All right, set the ice down. And, and I think, <laughs> I think that uh, Jess from Carnival Revolution uh, made some the day before. Uh, well, let's let me give me a little bit of this, all right. And actually, the cream is amazing, but uh, maybe I will, right? Let's see, two whole eggs, one yolk. Yeah, but I usually just put the whole egg in. Today, I just been a little kind of crazy, trying something a little different. All right, guess what? I'm gonna do it. In the, in the device, right? Uh, let's see. Dr. Kiltz, what does Orlissa do? Orlissa reduces estrogen in the body, so it allows it to, uh, so allows endo and, 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 and adeno and even fibroids to shrink. Uh, hey, hey, Kathy, how you doing? All right. Ice cream tonight, right? Uh, let's see. Uh, use and right. I've you know I've been working on these things because I want to look more like Baker and 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 uh, and and uh, Chafee. I'm working on it. And Stephen and Raymond and so many out there. What do you guys? This is going to be crazy, right? I can do it, right? It's I needed my exercise, right? Uh, almost every weekend. Listen, you got to reward yourself. This is not a suffering way, right? Oh, I can never eat that. Listen, if you want a piece of celery, why would you, right? Uh, oh, all right. Let me get, we're going to do this so I can communicate at the same time. Oh, find the devices. Make it all work right. All right, we're gonna put it in the ice ice cream maker because uh, let's see what's going on. 
and we're going to put it right in the ice cream maker so that uh, all right and you guys need to enjoy life make this for the kids the family yourself you deserve it right you deserve it all right you guys want to see if we can let's see let's see if we can manage this all together you guys want to try it or shall i walk down without you i think we can do it i think we're going to do this hang on one second we're going to take a walk um well, thank you very much for uh for for hanging out with me i'm going down to the basement because that's where the ice cream maker is it's going to be dark for a minute, but I think we're going to manage this. So this is where my studio is down in the basement. It's dark and crazy. All right. You guys are amazing. Thank you for hanging out with me again. Let's see. Kayla, Letcher's also press estrogen. Letcher's also does, but it also makes good lining. So sometimes we use it. All right. See, I wasn't going to have the ice cream tonight, but you see what you did to me? All right. We'll let that thing work. It's probably about 20 minutes, uh, and I'm, I'm down in the dungeon. And welcome to my crazy place. You're not – well, you may be able to see it. I'll show you a little bit of the lake. Uh, and I'm so blessed to live on this great lake in Skinny Atlas. Uh, let's see. Are you guys going to be able to – you might be able to see it. Let's see. I think it's really a great spot. For me, it's a healing place. And it's the place that I come and do a lot of my pottery and painting. And I work on this so I can improve the ideas that we're all learning together. Roadrunner. Awesome. Uh, it is a great view. But no matter where you're at, see, I love a big screen. And I love looking at, uh, looking at nature. I love doing a lot of nature. Nature is so important for us, right? We're not we're not spending enough time out in nature, so that's why I go for a walk. All right, you want to go for a light jog, great. But if you're going to do it, you want to be able to talk to the person next to you. Uh, let's see, metoprolol while doing IVF. Uh, I'll have to look at the metoprolol, whether it's category A, B, or C, but it should be okay while you're doing IVF. Check whether or not you're pregnant. That's another one for sure. Uh, pools, uh, pools, uh, paster, how you doing? Thank you for joining me. Uh, I don't know. This is, uh, 38 minutes. We're making ice cream. Uh, I had some of Kiltz's steak it was really awesome and amazing. And I'm going to clean up my mess a little bit. I did not add sugar. I added a little bit of the, the there's a little bit of sugar in this paste. Uh, do you live next to, uh, white? Uh, Dr. <laughs> Adam lives on the other side of the lake, top of the lake, and I'm down on the east, west side, no, east side, about five miles. All right. Let's see. I'm making messes, but I also must clean them up. That's critical. What are the questions you guys have? It is a great view. Uh, let's see. The dungeon. I'm down in the dungeon in my basement. It's a bad basement. It walks out on the lake. I'm not, I'm not suffering. Courtney, taken for mini IVF. I like Letrozole 10, uh, Gonal left 200, or Follistim and HCG20. I think that's the very best way. And the same thing with the dual stem, and you go right into the cycle the next, the next uh, week after your retrieval. Tell the team in Colorado that's what you want to do. All right? Let's see. Glutathione IV push and li li lipo CIM shots while doing IVF. I think those are absolutely okay, for sure. Caveman Incorporated, how you doing, my friend? Uh, I am 66 years young. I eat one meal a day, fatty meat. I call it the baby's, the baby's way. Bacon, eggs, butter, beef, salt. I do a little bit of light weights, a little bit, not heavy. And uh, I didn't know I could have. I do ice cream, uh, Sanchev. Uh, but again, it's... It's eggs and cream and a little bit of vanilla with a little bit of sugar. Not a lot. You can put a pinch of salt there also. I think it's really good. Uh, you look amazing. Thank you. Poet, poet eyes. Let's see. Serendipity design. How are you doing? Double bag work making ice cream. Listen, I don't have enough patience for that. Uh, 
it's in the ice cream maker. It's going to make ice cream. The double bagging, you can do it. It does work. I know that, uh, uh, let's see, uh, Carnivore uh, Revolution is doing it. It works really nice. Uh, let's see. Keto in the process to plant FET for second baby since I moved to Puerto Rico. Dr. Verdiaz is from Puerto Rico, from Massachusetts. I'm a former patient. Should I do a follow-up consult with you? Uh, did you do a frozen the last time? We do it the same. A quick call with one of our team members will get you moving forward. And carnivore? Carnivore. Carnivore, right? Uh, don't sway from being carnivore, my friends. It is critical, in my opinion, that we stay carnivore. Uh, it's important throughout our lives. That's what I think. We are, we are, we're doing the wrong nutrition for a human being. And I learned from so many people out there that uh, that carnivore is the key. And uh, I'm really excited about sharing more of this. We're get, coming out with our new Kiltz's Keto Carnivore, which essentially keto is the on-ramp to the master class, which is carnivore. We're going to be doing a master class in the, in the Mighty Tribe on why carnivore, the ABCs of carnivore, the 101 of carnivore, how to do it, how to feel your very best and be invigorated. Uh, do you completely natural transfer? Yes, you can. You don't need to do an ultrasound. You can just do an ovulation predictor kit. Tucked in our 10-month-old, oh, my God, triplets. Isn't that amazing? Amazing. Give them all a hug and a kiss for me. And don't forget, give yourself a hug and a kiss every day. Let's see. Can you share what ice cream maker you have? It is a, um, oh, boy. Uh, let's see. Cuisinart. The Cuisinart. And I, Amazon. Uh, and I can't remember which quart size it is. Uh, but, you know, I tend to make a little bit more and save it a little longer. I should probably make less and eat it less, but PPL might fail on carnivore because the American diet is laden with sugar and you we're all addicted to it. You know, listen, you're addicted when you say you're addicted. I have a little bit of sugar from time to time, but not all the time. Uh, but yeah, you're right. You got to be, you got to be careful for those that are like, oh, I got to have it every day uh -uh. from time to time. And don't put the sugar in it. It's still good and amazing. Uh, transitioning our kids off sugar. Feed them fatty. Feed the babies away. Bacon, eggs, butter, beef. And kilts is ice cream. First of all, make it standard with a little bit sugar. And then every week, maybe a little, little, little less sugar. And then maybe something you just sprinkle a little bit as a treat from time to time. Even some chocolate I eat from time to time, but do I eat it all the time? NFW, do not do it. Do not do it. Be, uh, boosting egg quality. I will be going through Syracuse 12 pounds, 12 pounds, 121 pounds of boosting egg quality. Eat bacon, eggs, butter, beef, fasting, fasting, fasting is lasting. Look at our ovarian bloom supplement through molecular fertility. It has some supplements that may be helpful. Look at, at the nutritional solutions also may be helpful for egg quality. But number one, all fruit, fiber, vegetables, seeds, and nuts, throw them out. Get rid of them. Done. Deadly. No good for any of us. I'm sorry. The more I've done this, the more amazing I am. So I used to have arthritis, psoriasis, kidney stones, migraines. Deadly. I now do. What do I do? I do. And I didn't have, oh, I didn't, I didn't eat all my steak, but like, oh my God, the best steak. And uh, the most important part all right, but you guys, look at, this is the most important part. It's all the grease. And I save it and I dip my steak in it with any leftovers. I've already uh, dipped it in, but it is, again, you got to eat the fat to protect the glycobiome. You must eat the fat to, to protect the glycobiome. Albany, thank you. Second IVF. Mm. Endometriosis. What's endo caused by? Endo is caused by a lack of eating fatty meat and eating a ton of vegetables. Sous vide cooking for your steaks. You know, Dr. Magarelli loves it. And all right, I'll try it. I'll do it. Not today. And I think I've got the sous vide machine somewhere in this house. Steak and gravy, but the gravy is simply the juice from the, the pan. 
no flour, nothing like this. Whatever ice cream maker you buy, make sure the, the pot is made of aluminum. It's not made of aluminum. Good point. There are so many points and little pieces of the puzzle that we all need to be looking into. But ultimately, the most important thing to me is eliminate plants. If you do that, you're 98% there. All those little nuances, great, go for it. But not everyone can afford to replace all their stuff. So I think it's important. Uh, let's see. Oh, yeah. Oh, listen. The steak and a little bit of, of, of a pork belly dipped in, in the grease, in the grease on the pan, and a little bit of butter and blue cheese. Home run. Samantha. Mm. The meat contains the majority of the minerals and vitamins. See, animal cells have all the minerals and vitamins your body needs. Plus, the, the meat contains the sugars that are also critical for the glycobiome, which ultimately, if you eat a fatty meat diet, you don't need anything else. And eat the organ meats. Think I could be dealing with candida uh, if I'm strictly carnivore. No matter what, our bodies may be, you may be not enough fat in your diet because high protein is the same problem as a high carb diet, by the way. Endo, do you recommend uh, endometrial biopsy or go? I think laparoscopy is the best, but if you're not going to do that, I would just treat it. I wouldn't do the receptiva because it's often wrong. Gee, another medical test that's wrong. Can you believe it? I mean, come on. Cholesterol science is not. I do. <clears throat> I do ribeye. I think it's the best, by the way. Too frozen today. Awesome. It's Tita. Boo, bitch. Michelle. Uh, oh, my God. Currently 20 weeks. Awesome. Do it, do it, do it. And the more you do it, the more amazing things happen. The more you stress and struggle over the doing it, the more resistance your body has, the more, the more struggles, the more inflammation, the more cortisol and epinephrine goes up, and the more that serotonin and oxytocin goes down. You want to build your serotonin and oxytocin. Prayer, meditation, faith, and belief. One meal a day. And what should you eat? Meat, right? Farm, I appreciate your ways of thinking. Real food, real food. And not three to six times a day. One meal, one snack, done. No bread, no pasta, no salad. It's deadly. No, Samantha, the baby's way is for life. It's for life. Uh, if anything, again, if you're skinny, you need more fat, eat the fat. If you're fat, Guess what? One meal a day or less, fasting is so important. The ribeye is the same as, as uh, intro coat. I use that. It's fatty meat from Happy Cows. I haven't tried that. I haven't seen that uh, uh, at all. Carbo. Uh, let's see. Meg, everyone having a fun time? Are you on vacation? I'm looking for you at the office. I can't find Meg. So I'm always looking for Meg. Uh, she takes care of all of us in amazing ways. So if you're on vacation, enjoy bottoms. Let's see. Uh, let's see. I, I want to work with you. I'm a board certified clinical neuropsychologist. Awesome. Also, well, this keeps on going. Uh, let's see. It's also certified perinatal medical health. I see patients struggling with fertility pre and absolutely all the time. Look at Georgia Ede, E-D-E. -E. She's amazing. Carnivore all the way. All the neurologic struggles go away. It's pretty, pretty rocking and amazing. Should I be a carnivore before attempting another retrieval? Four weeks, I think, is good. Some people say, so three months. Uh, salad is deadly because it's, it's all sugar. It comes with phytochemicals that are deadly. And it contains bacteria, yeast, and microbes. It ferments. It's deadly. Modifying the baby's plan. Nope. Salad's deadly. Carnivore, two to four weeks. Friend of mine suffered acid reflux. She's on PPI. How can she stop safely and transition to 
HCL pills. Uh-uh. Ask him because I heard PBLs can't be stopped. Listen, I don't know how to stop or use those meds at all. Go carnivore, go fasting. Go on a 23-hour, one meal a day. 23-hour, one meal a day. 23-hour, one meal a day. Okay, sometimes do 48 hours, 47, one meal. 47, one meal. But the the that's harder to do, I admit it. Listen, I walk in the house, I open the refrigerator, and guess what I see? It's It really is crazy. All right. All right, now. It's, all right, eggs, eggs, uh, cream, water, lots of butter. Now, Tia bought a chocolate chip cake in here. I haven't touched it. I'm doing my ice cream instead. And a little bit of chocolate, a lot of cheese. Oh, get you back up there. And uh, a little bit of salami. I tend not to do the, the, the spicy one, but sometimes I have a little bit. Uh, but I do a little bit of salami, a little bit of cheese, but mostly, guess what? Ribeye steak, and that's it. Uh, no supplements are really necessary if you're on a full-on Kiltz's Keto Carnivore and the baby's way. Uh, but I really recommend you got to eat the liver. That is it. Uh, so I know, you know, this idea you want to take HCL pills. I think if we just let your bowels in the glycobiome, allow the glycobiome to heal. That's it. I'm sorry you have to watch me eat. Megan, do you recommend easing into the 23-hour fasting? You can. Listen. If you at least go to the baby's way or the carnivore way, home run. Even if you're doing three meals a day. Uh, bacon, eggs. Bacon, eggs. Steak and eggs. Steak and eggs and butter and beef. It's all... It's all, how much liver? Listen, I do just kind of like a half a fistful, not a lot. I think it's all you need. If uh, you don't like desiccated liver tabs are good. Uh, we have desiccated liver tablets in Kiltz's Nutritional Solutions. I absolutely think that's a good, good option. But I always say, you know, real food. And if you're going to eat a carb, white rice and potatoes with a lot of butter and a lot of sour cream. From time to time. Not all the time. Mm. I'm dying. It's so good. Mm. It's tea top. Tea top. It's saying, look at bacon, eggs, butter, beef, cream, salt. Done. Nothing more. Right? Why is it difficult? It doesn't need to be. And you can go to Price Shopper to Costco. Costco? is a... Uh, uh, to, uh, let's see, uh, Walmart, they're great cuts. Go to your local farm. Tell them you want all the fat on it. Don't cut it off. You want the organ meats. Okay, home run. Have uh, prenatal, prenatal vitamins while on carnivore. Okay, I'm I'm just going to say take them because if I say don't take them, I got to say take them, right? Take your vitamins. Uh, and listen, even taking vitamins throughout your life, I don't know. I don't know. Uh, drown liver, A1 sauce, and choke it down. I know. Don't listen. Buy the buy the the, the leaner meats. Uh, I went to Wegmans today. You know they have they have I think six pounds of of ground beef, eighty twenty, for about twenty eight dollars. That's a lot. But how many meals are you going to get out of that? Add butter. Add a little bit of cheese. That's the game changer. All right. Let's see salads. And most of fruits travel from Mexico or California. They pick it when it's still green. So in reality, there's no, well, there's nutrition. See, I think this idea, no nutrition, it's, that's not true. They're poisonous. They're just frank poisonous. They contain poisons that the plants make. They contain the microbes that love the plants and they're all sugar. So ultimately this idea that there's no nutrient value, I don't believe there, you could, you could live on that stuff for a little bit. Oh, I love, but when I go to Wegmans, meat department, egg department, cream department, cheese department, what else? Butter, water, out the door. Oh, I occasionally have to buy some vanilla from them. But listen, if you don't use vanilla, you can even add a little bit of chocolate. I Listen, a little bit of heaven from time to time. 
but I think we call it a reward. Prenatal vitamins or animal organ supplements. You know, I don't have that real answer. My suspicion is the organ supplements are great, along with fatty meat is great. But on the other side, you know, it's, it still is. Ultimately, the prenatal vitamins are the way. The molecular fertility supplements we have are really great. Thank you for letting me, letting me eat and talk, by the way. I'm so grateful. This was a great meal, wasn't it? The only vegetables I miss are peas. The only vegetable I eat is a blue cheese stuffed olive from time to time in a martini and occasional French fries. That's it. That's my, that's my occasional. Uh, avocados, I, very, very few. My daughter would die to an avocado. My suspicion is, see, all these plants ultimately have toxicities we don't even think about until we're diagnosed with cancer or a stroke or heart disease. They are subtle, silent, and they take a while. Very quick and easy. Quite commonly, Tia just orders my stuff from Wegmans, orders my stuff from Snake River Farms in Hudson Valley. Done. What more do I need? Nothing, nothing more. And then I often do well, I'm out of all I have is some Porter, Porter Rhodes uh, pork belly that I've cut up. And that's it. Uh, let's see. He's not really charred. It must be a chat on Facebook. I actually have two chats going on and I apologize. I have Instagram, Dr. Kiltz, and I have Facebook, YouTube over here. So uh, I, there's two chats going on. So I apologize. Uh, let's see. Cooking's fast. Uh, Michael C., how are you doing? Uh, let's see. Salads and most of fruit travel. We got that one. Prenatal vines. We got that. Samantha, Sh uh, Shelly, how are you doing? Office do ERAs and saline sonograms. Yes. And we'll do it for wherever you are in this in this country or this world. We'll absolutely help you with that. This is my one meal a day. Pregnitude powder. You know, I don't know pregnitude powder, and I should. I apologize. I'll look it up. Apple cider vinegar. I'm not a big fan of it. Not frequently. Um, trying to conceive is safe on carnivore. Drink it with water. I don't. I don't know. Some people put a little lemon in their water, warm water. I don't think you need it. How much protein do you day? I don't measure anything. Uh, in general, like a probably I do more like a 60 40 or 70, 30 protein to fat in my diet nutrition, uh, at least an 80, 20, but ultimately you want, you want about a 50, 50 ratio of, of fat to uh, carbs. Majority of your calories should come from fat. They say, uh, and it protects the glycobiome. Uh, let's see. I know it's the best way to eat, but it's so hard to give up the keto and drop all the V I know. If Caroline, Caroline, it's so hard. It is very hard. Question came out of giving up, giving up vegetables and keto. I'll get to, uh, let's see. I see that I have to read the question. So you all get the question, right? Now, let's see. Uh, Caroline, uh, Caroline's uh, love, love, Carbo, loves Carbo. Oh, that's it. Uh, asked about giving up and how hard it is to give up the vegetables and keto. That's why... Keto is the on-ramp for the masterclass carnivore. Bingo. That's it, right? Uh, do you work out or do straight? I do some strength training. Uh, I, do, I do this type of stuff. I bring my legs up and I work on that. I used to do a lot of weights when I was younger, lightweights, never bulky. And I think that's good. I do about four or five times a week. Light stuff, I think it's important. Lawton tried to do one or two meals a day and just couldn't get enough food. I eat beef, eggs, salt, and water. You're right. You're bulking up. You're trying to build muscle. You got to eat more. But ultimately, if you want a healthy glycobiome and a healthy GI tract, you want to eat less frequently and you want to fast. That's the very best thing to do. And if you listen, if you go to Stephen and Raymond on uh, steak and butter gal, Bella, uh, they've got some good stuff that shows fasting still builds 
and you'll get there. But you gotta, you gotta, you gotta do heavier. I think carnivore is really good for for thyroid. By the way, very good for thyroid. Carnivore and thyroid. Let's see. That. So the question was: Is carnivore and thyroid good? Uh, I think it is. Uh, organ meats are good. The plants contain the lectins, oxalates, phytates that attack the thyroid. Simple. Mm. Uh, let's see. Mat, uh, mat, matuz, matuz? Uh, let's see. Zumbrowski. I'll have to look at it again. Uh, remind me, but I'll go to the calcium. It's just the very best shots ever, right? Butter okay for those who have lactose intolerance. Your lactose intolerance will go away. Fasting, fasting. Maybe do a month without butter, without cream, without anything, and then go a little bit at a time. See how your body tolerates it. Or do another butter for maybe goat milk, goat butter, something like that. Uh, Michael, as long as bacon is okay, I, I gave up the vet. It's, it is... Listen, I eat vegetarians. The cows, the cows, the cattle, they eat the grass. I eat the cows. That is it. And remember, we are 75, 25 ground book while listening to this. Yes, that's good. Look at 70, 30, 70, 30, 75, 25, somewhere in there because the fat is critical. Lean meat is deadly. That's why I don't eat chicken, fish, or turkey. It's deadly. No disrespect to those who grow it, but I stick to the bacon. Mm. Mm. Tony Griffin, thank you very much. Ghee instead of butter is a good way to start. But I just love the taste of butter. Uh, listen, a spoonful of butter every morning makes everything better, better, better. All right. Let's see. First uh, set of push-ups went from 70 to 100. When I went from keto carnivore, love the meat. It's like crazy. All right. I do three sets of 20s, push-ups, sit-ups, and deep knee bends. That is the very best. You don't need all the, the weights, by the way. The fat. Chicken bread. Chicken. Bread gets uh, stuck in my throat, uh, and I have to choke it down with water. Uh, tra oh, let's see. Travis Chisel. Chisel? Chisel? Chisel. Uh, do they feed soy to pigs? Listen, I don't think that soy to pigs and omega stuff, I just don't think it's significant. It doesn't make any sense. It doesn't. That's to me. Because they break it down, and they make the fat they make the fat in their in their livers. The, the fat is not eaten from the in the plant. So my bet is I don't think it's significant. Does anyone really know what omega-3 and omega-6 is? My bet is the same problem. Cholesterol science is made up. All this stuff on omega-3s and all this stuff, it's simple. Eat fatty meat. Be healthy. Eat bacon, eggs, butter, beef, salt. Bingo. Game change. Occasionally kilts his ice cream. The Coliseum during the movie masters end up giving free carbs in form of bread to Romans. At the, I, that's a gift. It's See, the masters control the masses with bread. That's it. But the, the real masters eat meat. Fatty meat. That's it. Uh, oh, my God. Uh, Brooks, this is... The very best. I'm done. I got to go check the ice cream. Let's go see. You guys want to come with me? All right. We're, we're almost done. It's an hour. I can't go much longer because I got to get to bed pretty soon. Otherwise, I'm all right. Otherwise, I can't. I can't do it. I get up early. I get up at three. I got to be bed. Let's see. Oh, 840. Usually by about 930 at the latest. In order for me to get up at three, get into the studio, do my motion work. Oh yeah. Okay. Let's see. This one's this one's good. 
Can you see it? Isn't that the very best? But we must taste it before you all before you all go, right? All right. Let's see if I can get this up the stairs without falling on my booty, uh, on my face. Thank you for joining me. I'm learning a lot. You guys have a lot of really great, great questions and great ideas. We are here to learn together. And I'm going to be doing the, uh, the Mighty Tribe Sunday, 7 p.m. Eastern time. Uh, we'll send out all the links and stuff like that for anyone who wants to join on Kiltz's Crazy Place. All right. Oh, gosh, guys. Uh, I, I know... There's only a little bit of sugar in the in the uh, two two teaspoons of the vanilla, and it's amazing. Mm. A little bit of salt, not a lot. And look at it, it, it's again. Uh, Arlang, a pleasure. Thank you. Five a.m. Susie. Five a.m. every day. It gets me moving, and I need it. Motion, motivation. Oop. Mm. I get a few spoons. I know. It's so simple. Cuisinart. There's some others more expensive. You don't need it. And you can do the double bag with ice. French vanilla. Tony, absolutely. That's the best. Uh, Money Waters. I'm going to check out the Coliseum uh, uh, part uh, in that. I think... Uh, well, you know, I'm inspired by those movies that really are truth of humanity, right? But ultimately, you see that the masters have manipulated all of us masses. There's a 5 a.m. Just died a little bit. I'm sorry. Carolyn, I'll deliver, all right? I'll deliver to everyone. Maybe I should bring, well, it's a little hard, but oh, my God, you guys. I really am sorry. I'm here... Julia Child was my favorite. So my next adventure is to take the cookbook and start making some of those. Uh, vanilla is a little bit sweet. Again, I scrape it. That's the very best way. A little bit of mold and salt, all you need. You don't need to add the, the sugar at all, right? For those who are like, oh, I can't touch sugar. No. You want to put a little bit of chocolate in there? Shave up a really dark chocolate. Uh, some to Norway. I'm going to, Carolyn. Uh, let's see. 3 a.m. hungry. God bless you. Thank you. For, I'm getting up at 3, so I got to go to bed. I love you. Thank you very much. I'll see you at 5 a.m. if you're with me. And whatever you're doing, share it. What are you doing that's making it easy or hard? What are your tricks for this? How do we find ways to all be better? I finished The Alchemist today. Now I got to get to the next book. I'm gonna, I get, We got to figure it out tomorrow, uh, Friday, Saturday at the latest. Uh, uh, John... Every day, I need you to motivate me. That's why I do this. And motion is motivating and connecting and watching what others are doing. I get into my pottery studio, my painting studio. I make a lot of bad pottery, a lot of bad paintings. But thankfully, enough of it comes out really good. That's it. All right. Good night. Sweet dreams to everyone. Thanks for following. But ultimately, the follow really means we're all co-leading together. All right, see you tomorrow morning. God bless to my Instagram teams and my YouTube and Facebook teams. I'm going to be better at sharing the questions so we're not cross-reacting. I'll take a look at uh, the, uh, the Gladiator. I need to watch it. Take care, you guys. Bye-bye. God bless.